President Bush will announce his troop pullout plan, detainees report abuses inside Guantanamo, and NASA's rover makes a tricky trip into a crater. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. President Bush will officially endorse his top general's assessment by announcing a pullout plan to bring home more than 30,000 troops by the end of the summer. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says, this is an insult to the American people. Don't you guys understand? Can't you do any math in your own stupid heads? But bringing home 30,000 troops, that just means we're going to be back to the same place where we were before this stupid little surge. And Republicans are all like, yeah, actually, Mr. President, uh, you know, we didn't really have your back on things, but we're a little worried about, like, how this is going to affect our electability like you're a lame duck so it's fine to come up with stupid plans but uh kind of got uh jobs on the line guantanamo bay detainees report that tension between guards and inmates has escalated into abuse in an official report obtained by the associated press inmates are all like hey they're real mean to us whenever we're trying to pray they always interrupt us like we're prisoners or something please let us pray in peace so don't interrupt me don't tell me what to do who do you think you are the boss of me and guards are like um yeah kinda detainees also report conditions are so bad that suicide attempts are common leading some people to wonder like wait a minute are these the real actual terrorists or the terrorists that are just being held there because President Bush wants to keep them there indefinitely? Because if it's the real terrorists, then... And NASA's Mars rover Opportunity has begun the 40-foot descent into a crater to discover clues about the planet's early climate. NASA in July, before all the dust storms messed everything up, was like, it's a risky journey. We're going into a crater. I don't care if it's risky, though, because there's a lot of science to be learned. We're going to take that risk. And when I read that, I was like, wait, risk? I mean, the Mars rover was only supposed to last for three months. They've been going for three and a half years. They're discovering clues about things that happened eons ago. Well, that's pretty cool. And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello. Eons. Like, literally. You can actually use it and not be exaggerating. That's awesome.